Section 3.3, dot plots, stem plots, and time series plots. Objective one, identify discrete and continuous variables. Definition, discrete variables assume values that can be counted. So zero, one, two, three, and so on, or have a finite number of possible values. Definition, continuous variables have an infinite number of possible values that are not countable, usually obtained by measuring. So we, had, we talked about variables previously, and the variables are either categorical or numerical or qualitative or quantitative. And then under the numerical category, we either have discrete or continuous. So for example, we want to identify whether the numerical variable is discrete or continuous. Okay, the weight of a mailing letter is continuous. Because again, what does continuous mean? These are variables that have an infinite number of possible values that are not countable. Part B, the number of students in a class earning an A. This is discrete because it is countable. We can count the number of students in a class that are earning an A. Part C, time spent studying for an exam. This is continuous because in this case, it's an infinite number of possible values that are not countable. Part D, speed of a car on a highway. This is also continuous. Okay, again, this has an infinite number of possible values that are not countable. So the speed of a car can represent different speeds, so it's continuous. Points scored by Stephen Curry in a game. This is discrete because you can count his points at that end of the game to find out how many he scored. Scored is, a, uh, is the key word here because that means he completed the game and you can count the amount of points that he scored. Okay, the price of a candy bar is discrete. And it's discrete because you assume that the values can be counted or it has a finite number of possible values. This is a finite price of that candy bar, so therefore it is discrete.